So we're here with the former Mornington Football Club coach, newly appointed interleague coach Chris Holcomb. How you going, mate? Good. How do you feel to be newly appointed as as the coach of this uh, this previously successful side? It's very exciting. Um, Heinz has done a great job over the past couple of years getting a squad that's uh, close and uh, bonded well together, and that's been sort of a key to their success. So, very excited to be part of that group and, and hopefully build on it. Tell us a bit more about your career. What's been your greatest achievements um, being head of steering the ship? Um, I've coached the last four years at Mornington. Um, we had a couple of grand finals, which uh, YC kindly knocked us off, which was handy. Um, but yeah, before that, um, obviously played a lot of football. Uh, drafted the whole film when I was a kid. Played a lot of footy at Frankston with the Dolphins, and then went back and then won a couple of premierships with Mornington, which was handy. So yeah. Barely got his feet off the ground, and the mark came in from behind. Yeah, the NFL. Redland handles off now to Cosson. Cosson gets it back in a 1-2. Cosson goes forward again and are lining up for goal. Right foot kick from Sutton puts it through and the MPNFL take the lead. So what challenges do you have forming a team um, as such as the interleague squad? Um, I think they've probably overcome a lot of the challenges. A lot of it was buy-in in the past of players not wanting to compete for, for the Mornington Peninsula. Um, and I think that's been arrested by the group over the last couple of years, just really wanting to be out there uh, representing the league. And um, that's probably been uh, the greatest achievement Heinz is going to leave. And hopefully we just continue that through. Um, that's a key to it. The team has been very similar um, over the few past few years. Is that something you're going to try and keep um, active? I think, I think you need to keep a core group together, especially those guys who have performed, they deserve to be there again. Um, but on top of that, to go forward, I think you really need to bring some, some new players through, some uh, guys who have been playing good footy, knocking on the door, uh, anything that's going to help build that list through to, to hopefully get a win. Who are you looking forward to playing um, in this you know, interleague game coming up? What are the kind of key matchups and players that you've got to keep an eye on from your knowledge? Uh, it's hard to say. Um, Northern are a very, very good league. Uh, they've got a lot of ex-AFL players going through there that um, probably haven't played in the past that we think might uh, venture out on the field. Hopefully they do this year. Such as? Uh, look, the Harvey brothers, Brent Harvey. Um, Cameron Cloak's another name that plays up there that um, could be an option going through, um, which we, we hope they do. It's a great challenge for, for the club and it'll obviously um, build um, the hype around it and get more excitement for the game, so yeah, it'll be great. Uh, having the Miller brothers play uh, into league last year, was there any other household favourites from your Mornington boys that you're going to try and include this year? Uh, no, not really. I'll, I'll, be, uh, I'll be neutral with all that sort of stuff. Th those two guys are great players and deserve their game last year. I think Joel initially wasn't in the squad, but played great football in the lead up and, and, and deserved his chance. So there's a few young guys there that are coming up through that, that might be knocking on the door, but unless their form's good early on, uh, it'll need to be to, to break this squad. How many players are going to be picked in the first squad? Oh, we're probably around 50 to 60. Um, having 16 clubs in the competition, um, there's a lot to look at, uh, and especially don't know who's going to be up and about fit in form early in the season, so you can't sort of pigeonhole it. So we'll leave it pretty wide for a start and, and then see how it goes from there. Well, good luck with all the process leading up to round six um, where it comes across and against Northern. So good luck. Thanks for having a chat with us. Yeah, well, thanks. And awesome. Josh Moore here that's just been recently appointed the under-19s coach of the interleague side. Now first of all I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about you yourself. Yep. Currently coaching at Rye, the senior team? Yeah, uh, it's coming into my fourth year as a senior coach at the Rye Footy Club, so um, looking forward to a good year down with the D's. How's the pre-season looking down there? Um, yeah, really good, really positive. We've had heaps of numbers on the track. Um, 19s are going to be really strong, which will be a little bit different for us. We've been down down the dumps a little bit, but um, the 19s are really strong and um, the senior, senior group's picked up a few recruits as well, so all positive. It's good to hear. And uh, yourself, you played much footy as a junior or before you started coaching? Yeah, um, been around a little bit. Um, played at um, Scoresby Junior Footy Club, then through the TAC system, VFL, um, then ventured down to Sorrento um, and then finished at Rye. Coaching a bunch of boys that have just come together from all different teams, some of them are rivals on the field, rivals off the field, how are you going to tackle that, the, um, the, some of the friendship issues? Um, well, I guess it'll be a little bit different but um, when you go to the, to the highest standard possible I think um, hopefully the kids are going to be nice and professional as we as coaches will try and implement um, into, the, into the series. Um, professionalism is going to be key um, and we expect the players to be like that on the track and on match day. 
And how frequently are you going to bring the boys together? What's the training, or more importantly, what's the selection and the pre-season stuff going to look like? Um, I have touched base with a few of the under-19 coaches to get a, get an idea of putting a squad together. So we're sort of halfway through that. Hopefully mid-Feb the, the, the squad will be um, complete. Um, and then we'll train once a month up until the month of the game. Um, and then we'll get stuck into it a bit more. And who you guys take? When does the carnival start? Was the carnival towards the end of the season? Um, no, it's about around, after around six or seven, so mid mid May is the game. And who do you play against? Play Vic Cunt, uh, Vic Burn, the Vaffa side, isn't it? We're playing the Northern Football League, okay. um, and yeah, so it's third versus fourth in the country championships. Um, so if we if the senior team win, then we go back up to play for first position next year. And you got any tips for the boys aspiring to get a gig in your team? Um, just just. Um, we're we're going to be picking the team on form, obviously, so we're going to have a massive squad of about 50 or 60 players. Um, so the players that commit, train hard and are in form um, will be the ones that get picked into the team. So thanks for coming down and having a chat with us today and all the best for the, uh, the coaching. Thanks, Gail. Thanks, mate.